Okay, so Sunday, first weekend of August, 7th, I think it is, of August. Um, carrying on the episodes of uh, unveiling secrets of Koi Health. Um, today's episode is treating for flukes. So uh, I've noticed a couple of the fish uh, in here have begun to start flashing and stuff like that. Uh, so we actually run them underneath a microscope and we found some uh, trichodina. And then we also found some uh, skin flukes as well. So I thought I'd give you my top tips in regards to what I do with uh, Learnex Pro, which is my fluke treatment of choice. We are trialing some others at the moment by Kasuri, but for the time being, I know a lot of you guys are actually using Learnex Pro, so I figured that I'd give you what my best sort of treatment regime is that I like to do uh, with the fluke side of things. So you'll notice that I've got my uh, tub of uh, Learnex Pro here now just bubbling away. Because it comes in a powdered format like this, the moment you start to mix it in with the water, uh, you will notice that the powder will actually stick to the bottom of your bowl and your tub, etc., etc. So what I like to do is basically just aerate it off for a good 15 or 20 minutes just to make sure it's all sort of dissolved down within to that water. So dosage wires, obviously you need to work out your pond volume. So in meters, if you do length, width, depth times a thousand, that will give you your volume in liters. Now it says here, uh, 50 mil per thousand liters of water. So what you want to do is divide 50 by a thousand and then times that number by whatever pond literage you've got. You'll notice that my filter isn't going round because I've shut my filter off. For the first six hours of this Learnex Pro treatment going into the water, I will actually go ahead and turn my filter off. Now, one of my top tips that I always do when tre treating for either gill flukes or skin flukes is I have actually gone ahead and I have chloramine teed my pond 12 hours prior to me actually putting this treatment in because what I want to do is basically pull that slime coat off the fish, which in turn is going to help uh, the flubenzadol that's in here actually get straight onto the skin's fish, which in turn is going to get rid of those flukes and get rid of those uh, fluke eggs. Now, I am also going to be talking about my second dose and what I do because I treat my second dose. I don't go off what the packet recommends. Now, this is not, I'm almost stressed, this is not a how-to. This is just simply how I do it myself. This isn't a how-to video. This is just me, me explaining what I do at the Koi Farm, which is perfectly safe for my water. I actually do a completely different dose. So these guys here advise that dosing between day seven and day 14. Now, depending on what your water temperatures are, depends exactly upon what dosage I put in and what day. I don't want to get it a day before and I don't want to get it a day after. I want to make sure that I can hit these and hit them again with a volume shot, which in turn will actually stop me having to constantly keep treating and keep treating and keep treating for flukes. I find this way it has massively worked for myself. And if it is that you choose to follow this along yourself at home, I'm pretty confident it will work for you guys, but it is against standard manufacturer guidelines. So do so at your own risk. Disclaimer there for anybody that wants to try and pull me apart. So let me snap back to you in a second. I'm gonna grab a coffee while that's mixing up. Let's go. Okay, so got my coffee, which is uh, just here. Definitely got flukes. Learned to on my finger there. That doesn't really taste the best. Um, okay, so again, dosage wise and stuff like that, obviously always refer back to manufacturer's guidelines. Don't look at the, my tub and go, oh, well, the wooden reefers look like that, so mine needs to look like that. Obviously, I'm doing this on a farming scale, so my uh, my treatment regimes are a little bit different to what you guys are doing, but use the manufacturer guidelines, guys. Uh, in relation to when I do my second treatment, mine's all about depending upon water temperature is and stuff like that. So. If the water temperature is 24 degrees and above, I will treat three to four days later. If it's 20 degrees, I will treat five days after. So today being Sunday, I will then go ahead and treat Friday. Um, if it's 10 to 15 degrees, eight days after the first dose. And if it's five to 10 degrees, I'll go 12 days after the first dose. I leave my filter off for six hours and I make sure I've got a hell of a lot of oxygen going into that pond. The reason for that is obviously there's treatments going in there 
the oxygen the treatments are going to zap the oxygen out of the water um the fish are going to start acting a little bit strange and whatnot so i want to make sure that all of the fish that are being treated have got a very very high level of oxygen i am going to leave my backy shower running again as an extra oxygenator um, and then again after six hours so at 8 30 this evening i will then go ahead and i will turn off uh sorry turn on my filter my uv light will stay off for three days all of this information will be in the video description down below in regards to temperatures and stuff like that if it is that you are struggling um, with flutes and stuff like that you can always call these manufacturers and ask them what is the maximum dosage that i can responsibly take this to obviously i'm very fortunate i've got yoss Abern, ashley dar merv westgate behind the back of me these guys have been using learnex pro on the farm now for a hell of a long time they know how far they can push this treatment so obviously i'm following their best practices and their best advice what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to pass the phone to my old man. I'm going to disperse this evenly over the whole pond. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to drop the air stones out of the tub now. I'm going to isolate them there in the middle through my feeding ring. Just so it's going to make it a hell of a lot easier for me to go ahead and actually disperse this all the way around the pond. Yes, you are still going to get a bit of powder in there and stuff like that, but don't worry, you're, uh, that'll naturally start circulating later on when you put your pump back on. You do notice you get a lot of powder in the bottom of your bowl, just literally fill it back up. Give it another good rinse round and good mix through with your hands. And basically, let that mix in. See the bottom of the bowl's empty. We do still have some powder on the sides. And again, just to make sure we're using all of that treatment. Give it a good fucking wipe off. And there we go. The air, as you can see, is absolutely turboing round in the pond, which is exactly what we want. We want a lot of air and a lot of turbulence going through the water. As I've explained, we've left the back of the show wrong because this is running on a separate pump. I'm going to leave the filter off until this evening until about 8.30. Don't be alarmed if when you use uh, Learnex Pro or any form of treatment if all of a sudden the fish start flashing and things like that. It just simply means that the treatment is going to work on the fish. The fish haven't got arms, hands and legs to be able to eat themselves with and stuff like that. So naturally they are going to do a little bit of flashing, a little bit of flicking, but the treatment's doing its thing. Just literally leave the fish alone. Don't panic or anything like that and everything will be absolutely fine. So I will leave this alone now, uh, and then we're gonna retreat this on Friday, which is five days time, because the temperature uh, of this pond being around 21, 22 degrees ambience, this one's at sort of 24 to 25. So if it was not retreat on the grower pond, then this one here, we would go ahead and retreat on sort of day three. But we're not gonna, because this is, a, like I say, that magic sort of 21, 22, so we're gonna leave this one alone. As you can see now, if I just grab the camera and I can walk you around and show you what the fish are actually doing. You'll see them now turboing round in big circles. You could just see a couple flash down there then a moment ago. But obviously with these guys, it's going to be safety in numbers. These are just going to continuously chase now around the outside of this pond. You will see some flicking, you will see some flashing, but again, it's absolutely completely normal. And this is the trick with, with treatments, folks. It's just a matter of getting that scope out, scraping the fish, just have the confidence to be able to do it. You're not going to hurt the fish, you're not going to damage the fish. If it makes it easy for you guys to date the fish first, before you actually go ahead and start taking your scrape mucuses off the coil. Obviously, as your confidence builds up, you'll very quickly be able to just literally pick the coil up, scrape, 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 scrape underneath, and then you've got more than enough mucus then to be able to give you an, uh, an exact sort of reading in regards to what kind of uh, parasites you've got. Obviously we will be continuing um, this unraveling series, but I say we've got a wait, obviously we don't want parasites, but um, next time we get Trichodenia, Costia or anything like that, again, we will go through what our recommended treatment regimes are. And of course, we always advise products that you guys can get off the shelves very, very easily. But other than that, I hope you've enjoyed this educational episode as well as the others. Other than that, Stay safe, stay sane, 
most important to people, stay happy. Oh, actually, before we sign the video out, if you go down to the video description down below, you will notice that there is a uh, members only area to the page now. If you sign up to the members only area, you will get a midweek update on these guys in regards to exactly how the treatment is going ahead. Uh, as opposed to just having to wait for sort of day two. Uh, and again, we'll be sharing more top tips, more secrets behind the channel uh, of exactly what dosing I've put into this pond. So it's definitely within your interest if it is that you want to learn and grow. But this is, like I say, for the hardcore fans out there. I'm not expecting absolutely everybody to sign up. We've got membership sign-ups from $1.99 all the way up to $12.99, which you get staff t-shirts and all sorts in there. Big discount codes for the full 12 months that you signed up for. So yeah, definitely check that out. But as ever, stay safe, stay sane. Most importantly, people stay happy. Balding Reefer, out.